Well, if this was... Um, Ah. Oh, ah. If this was uh, uh, if this was Cape Canaveral, I think it was Cape Canaveral, you call it Cape Kennedy now. If this was a place where a rocket was going off into space, it just about getting to the time where we go ten, nine, eight, and then six, five, four, three, two. Sunday morning, what we hope is that the Spirit will lift us out of our worries and cares and into the peace and joy that God makes available for us. Welcome to Steinbeck United Church this morning. It's nice to see you all. I often hesitate before starting a church service because there's such a lovely buzz in the room as friends and neighbors greet one another and they exchange stories and I think the good news happens Basically, as soon as we start walking in the doors, and that's what church is. People gathering together to share the experiences of their lives, not only when it's good, but also when it's hard. Because sometimes it can be hard, and in those times we trust that God's grace will be sufficient. So if you're going through something hard now, we trust that God's grace will be sufficient, and who knows, you might walk out of here a little bit enlightened. So we're going to begin, as is the custom, with hearing a bit from you about what's going on in your lives, what you might like people to be aware of, announcement time. And you know how it works. There's the microphone here. Please come forward and share what you have to share. Well, folks, this is the season of Advent. And Advent is a word that means, it suggests that we are waiting, we are expecting, and the things I've been hearing is that you folks are waiting and expecting. And through the season of Advent, we light candles. Generally, on the first Sunday, we light a candle for hope. What is hope? Can somebody give me an example or a definition of what hope means? Just shout it out. I hope somebody knows. <laughs> I wish that things will improve. I wish that things will improve. A desire, a longing. Wanting things to happen that are good. And then the second thing is peace. Now this should be easier. Does anybody know a poem about peace? <coughs> Nothing. Does anybody know what peace means? Does anybody have any exact? Go ahead, Anya. Not much noise, so quietness. So peace in the heart is when there's not a lot of noise in your heart or in your mind. Sometimes when you're a university <coughs> student and you're going into an exam room, you're looking for some peace, and all you can think of is, oh no! <laughs> so absence of turmoil, then, I guess. Absence of turmoil, <laughs> calm. And then, the third Sunday we call joy. And I think one of the great examples of joy was just the way we sang those two songs there. It's just so nice to lift up our voices and to sing. Is there anybody here joyful about anything special? What? You're joyful about Christmas and that's good enough for me. Advent is about waiting for the joy of Christmas. And this Sunday we're lighting a candle and it's called love. And I suspect there's probably nobody in this room who knows anything about love, is there? <laughs> who knows what the Beatles said about love? All you need is love. Love, love, love. Now, I want you to know this is called sharing and learning time. And I have this bag, and Barbara made it for me once, and it says, George's Mystery Bag. And that's because we're never quite sure what George might pull out of it. And what I've had to learn to do in my life is how do you be at the center of attention and not get all nervous and crazy about it? And you might not believe this now, because I'm getting better at it. How do you get better at something? Practice. Practice. Do you practice anything? You practice something and getting good at it? Who else practices something? What do you practice? Dancing. Dancing? <laughs> I'm looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> you have a special kind of dance that you like? Hip hop. Hip hop, okay. Well, that's not talking about my generation. <laughs> huh. One of the things about sharing and learning is church used to be that a person stood at the front 
who was a minister and he was usually a man, and they were the ones who did all the talking, and that made congregations shy. But what we're trying to do now is to get ministers out of the center of attention and get the people back a little bit. Because ultimately, you come here for good news, right? But who carries the good news out into the street and into the places where you play and the places where you study and the places where you work? You folks. So just like I practice being a... Oh yeah, I'm going to show you this is better. This is a piece of rope, right? This is an ordinary piece of rope. You can tie rope. And what's rope used for sometimes? What is it? Tie it? No. Can I stretch this? Do you think I can stretch this? If we all wanted this thing to stretch, do you think we could stretch it? Yeah? How? We all work together, right? If we all pull. What would happen if one of us let go of our part of the responsibility? <laughs> well, of course, we just fall down. So this is one of the things I have in my mystery bag. This is another. Okay, so let's try. If you know it's running right away and you don't really know what I'm about to 
same time. Love is something if you give it away, give it away, give it away. Love is something if you give it away, you end up having more. It's just like a magic penny, hold it tight and you won't have any. Lend it, spend it if you have so many, they're all all over. Love is something if you give it away, give it away. 